Welcome to Aubrey Street Gymnasium here in Cartersville, Georgia. I'm David Archer for Prestige Cablevision Channel 4. We are about set to bring you the 16 and under Division Wilkins Future Stars Basketball Tournament. On tap for this evening will be the number four. Doug's Place Restaurant Wildcats versus the number two seed Black Attack from Cherokee County. We will be starting just a moment and the starting five for the Black Attack will be Hudson Tian, number 68. Uh, that in just a second. Coming into the ball game, the Wildcats are four and five on the regular season. They made it to the finals by upsetting the no, uh, number uh, one seed Clancy Ford Hoyas just a couple of days ago. The Hoyas were the number one seed and uh, somehow or another the Wildcats mustered up enough energy to uh, knock the Hoyas off and therefore they are here in the tournament championship game. The Black Attack come in as the number two seed. As I said earlier, their regular season record was 10-1 and one, and they got here by defeating the Corwin Tilly and Dean's Lakers by three. They were the number six seed and also they defeated the number seven seed Athletes Locker Magic. The game is underway and the Black Attack control the tip to start the game. That's Jeff Porter with the ball. Also starting for the Black Attack is Jeremy Adams, Tyson Pena, number 68. And starting for the Wildcats will be Tamar McClendon, number 3. Horace Jones, number 12. LeRae Roberts, number 4. Quinto Iquazuma, number 7. And Brenton Baggett, number 22. The Wildcats are in the light blue colored jerseys. And uh, the Black Attack is in the black with gold trim. The Wildcats come out stalling the ball. Then they go into their offense to Iquazuma. He loses control and Pena comes up with the loose ball. 57 with the ball. Jeremy Adams sets it up at the top of the key. He drives into the lane, puts it up inside the lane from about seven, and he sinks it to start the scoring off. Black attack ahead, two to zero. McClendon to Roberts. Back to McClendon. See some pressure stolen by Black attack. Jeff Porter on the steal. He comes back the other way, dumps it down inside to number 49, David Mitchell. And he scores, pushing the score to four to nothing in favor of the black attack. Tamar McClendon comes back the other way, misses the shot, rebound Baggett out to LeRae Roberts. They missed the shot, and black attack comes back the other way. Stolen by Equizuma. And on the lay-in, they've called the foul, but they'll say it was before he took the shot. And the Wildcats will inbound the ball. Jones in the corner. To the top. To the left side to Iquazuma. Skip pass to McClendon. Shoots the three, long three. And off the backboard, the rebound goes to Chris McNeil. Black attack set up, top of the key. On the left wing, he drives. Adams inside to McNeil. The shot is missed. We got a foul on Horace Jones, or Quinto Iquazuma, rather, number seven. Black Attack will take the ball out underneath. They're currently in the lead four to nothing with 5.30 left in the first quarter. Tyson Pena gets his first two of the ball game. Pena was earlier named the uh, 16 and under division MVP of the entire league as he has led his team here to the championship. Ball to the Wildcats into McClendon. 
Roberts to Iquazuma. He drives, dumps it down to Robert Eccles, who misses the lay-in, also loses the shoe. They're battling for the offensive board, but the rebound is pulled by Jeff Porter, and they'll take time to let Robert Eccles put his shoe back on. And the black attack will get set to inbound the ball with 4.52 remaining in the first quarter. Black attack currently in the lead at six to nothing. Porter will bring the ball up, set up the black attack offense. Goes to the wing to number 56, that's McNeil. He has it stripped by LaRay Roberts. And he'll set it up to Tamar McClendon. Roberts back to McClendon to Baggett, looking inside, swings it back up to Roberts. Roberts drives, loses control, gets it back, and black attack is called for the foul on the strip. Wildcats will take the ball back out again. 421 left in the quarter. They're down by six, have yet to break the scoring column, and Iquazuma travels. The black attack team is basically comprised of the Sequoia High School JV squad. They play a lot of AAU basketball during the summer, and they call themselves the black attack during the summer basketball seasons. Got a foul on black as the Wildcats came up with the loose ball. Also, the Wildcats team, who is sponsored by Doug's Place Restaurant here in Cartersville, will... Uh, primarily make up the Woodlands, the new Woodlands High School JV squad. Woodlands High School will open up this school season and this is the Summer League basketball squad for Woodlands High School. Roberts against a lazy spread out 2-3 zone inside to Iquazuma. Off the glass, nice shot by Iquazuma to Start the scoring for the Wildcats. Six to two is your score with 310 remaining in the quarter. Pass off down into number 22, Matt Bailey. He sinks the shot. His first two of the game the scores eight to two. LeRae Roberts, point guard for Wildcats, breaks the pressure, lays it off the glass, rebound Pena. And he dumps it off to Jeff Porter, who will set up the offense for the black attack. Stolen by Iquazuma, he'll bring it back the other way. Stops on the right wing, sets it up to McClendon. McClendon to Roberts. Back to McClendon. It's the second or third time the Wildcats have slowed, not, slowed, down, slowed down their offense, trying to spread things out against that uh, superior size of the black attack. LaRay Roberts will sit down, and the substitution will be number 10, Cedric Green for the Wildcats. Also, Chris McNeil will sit down, and number 34 enters the game, Bo Turrell for the Black Attack. Iquazuma sinks the first free throw. Cutting the score to eight to three, and his second attempt is up. And it's also good, cutting the lead in half. Porter, the point guard for Black Attack, will set it up. And the Wildcats have gone to a man-to-man -man defense. Cedric, Cedric Green puts the defense on him and then ties it up for the jump ball. And it goes to the Wildcats. 2.04 on the clock. Scores 8 to 4 here in the early going of the ball game. McClendon sets up the offense, goes to Baggett, Baggett down to Green. Green drives, tries to lay it off the glass, shoots it a little bit high, and Pena comes up with the ball. He get, gets it out to Porter. Porter dumps it down inside to Bo Turrell. Bo Turrell 
hits the short jumper from the baseline. Scores 10 to 4. McClendon to Baggett. Baggett shoots the three. And Baggett sinks his first shot of the ball game. Scores now 10 to 7. Pena with the 15 footer. All net. Four points now for Pena. Baggett with another three. Sinks it again. And he is their three point go to man. That cuts the score down to 12 to 10. And the Black Attack will take a timeout to talk things over. And we will take a break here. Once again, welcome back here to Aubrey Street Gymnasium. I'm David Archer for Prestige Cablevision Channel 4 Sports. We're in the first quarter of the 16 and under Eddie Lee Wilkins Future Stars Championship game between the Black Attack and the Doug's Place Restaurant Wildcats. The Black Attack are currently in the lead 12 to 10 and they have the ball on their end of the floor with just 40 seconds left in the first quarter. Pena puts the ball back outside to Porter and we got a three second call and the Wildcats who fell down early six to nothing and also they were down ten to four have come back and cut the lead down to just twelve to ten for the black attack and now they have an opportunity to tie it up or even take the lead Baggett will stall the ball Wildcats have used this tactic several times here in the first quarter it's an, in an effort to bring out the black attacks and spread that defense out Cedric Green is called for the travel black attack will throw the ball in Ball is into Josh Rooks. He shoots the three from way out at the buzzer. And going into the second quarter, to start the second quarter, the Black Attack will take a 15 to 10 lead over the Doug Place Restaurant Wildcats. As I said earlier, the Wildcats come in as the number four seed, and they made it to the finals by defeating the Shaw Industries Sonics who were the number five seed 47 to 44 that was back on Tuesday and then on Thursday night they pulled off the huge upset over the Chuck Clancy Ford Hoyas the team from Harrison High School who were the number one seed and they came from behind to take the win to come here today and face the Black Attack in the championship game. The Black Attack is the number two seed. They had a 10 and one regular season record and defeated the Athletes Locker Magic in the first round. And then on Thursday, defeated the Corwin Tilly and Deems Lakers, the JV squad from Cartersville High School by three to make it here to the finals. Start of the second quarter, the Black Attack will control the ball. Jeremy Adams dumps it down inside to McNeil and he's called for the traveling. And the Wildcats will bring the ball back down. LeRae Roberts back in the ball game. Brings it to Bryn Baggett who brought the Wildcats back in the first quarter by sinking two straight three-pointers. Patient offense by the Wildcats once again. 2-3 zone by the Black Attack. The Wildcats are trying to force them to come out to them so that they can use their quickness. They do so. Quinto takes it to the goal. And the ploy seems to be working for the Wildcats as it's, it's making the Black Attack come out. It's forcing them to come out. And then as soon as they step out, the Wildcats take it to the hole. Quinto Iquizuma sinks the shot. That's his sixth point on the evening. And he's also two for two from the free throw line. He misses that one. Gets his own rebound. It was tipped out, back out by Robert Eccles. And they set up the offense. Roberts, bring it back out. Now to Quinto. Quinto skipped past the bag. Baggett shoots that three. In and out. Rebound uh, Bo Turrell, and he's fouled from behind. Foul from behind by Cedric Green. I believe that's two fouls on Green. 6.57 left in the first half. The score's 15 to 12. 
in favor of the Wildcats. Jeremy Adams will set up the offense for the black attack. They run a pick and roll. Back inside to David Mitchell, and he sinks the short jumper inside the lane. Four points now for Mitchell, and that pushes the score to five for the black attack. Baggett up top to McClendon. Coach calling for the patience on the offense again. Baggett forces the issue, puts it up and inside over Tyson Pena. And Baggett now with eight points. So all of, all of the scoring for the Wildcats have come from Brenton Baggett, who has eight, and Quinto Iquazuma, who has six. The score is now 17-14. Black attack in the lead by three. Skip pass over to Josh Rooks. He drives into the lane, puts it up from about eight. Tyson Pena with the rebound, puts it back up and in. Nice offensive rebound by Pena, and he puts it up and in for his sixth point, giving his team the five-point lead. Baggett, skip pass to Roberts. Now down to Iquazuma, back out to Roberts. Skip pass to McClendon. He loses control, comes back up with it, looking for his help inside of Iquazuma. Nice move and left-handed layup by Quinto Iquazuma. Eight points now for Iquazuma. The score is now... 19 to 16. Jeremy Adams tries to drive right and the foul is called on Tamar McClendon. Entering the ball game will be Robert Eccles. Sitting down will be Horace Jones and a much needed rest, deserved rest by Quinto, for Quinto Iquazuma. The shot over the top on the baseline by number 49, David Mitchell. His sixth point. And the score is 21 to 16. Wildcats will set up that patient offense, spreading it out. McClendon stops for the three-pointer. In and out. Rebound, David Mitchell. Porter sets up the offense. Goes to the wing. The wing drives. That's David Mitchell. And he draws the foul from Brenton Baggett of the Wildcats. And with 419 remaining, the Black Attack will try to increase their lead, possibly to seven or even eight. Porter. Tough defense by Roberts. He pulls up inside from about the free throw line. First two for Jeff Porter, 23 to 16 is your score. McClendon to Roberts, to Baggett. Back up to Roberts. Roberts shoots the long three, and he drills it home. Big three there for LeRae Roberts. Cutting the score back down to four. Mitchell drives. We got an offensive foul this time on David Mitchell as he tried to drive into the lane. But the Wildcat defender was there to take the charging foul. Tamar McClendon will sit down and Cedric Green checks back into the ball game for the Wildcats. 3-12 left. Baggett to Roberts. Once again, it's the spread offense for the Wildcats. They're trying to bring the black attack out. As soon as they force that black attack defense out, they go to the goal. Cedric Green loses control of the pass from Robert Eccles, and Tyson Pena comes up with the loose ball. Jeremy Adams to Porter. Porter trying to find someone to go to. Good defense by the Wildcats. And we got another offensive foul on the Wildcats. Ill-advised behind the back dribble by number 57, Jeremy Adams. And as he was trying to get the loose ball back, he bumped into the Wildcat defender. And that is the third foul on Jeremy Adams. 
Cedric Green goes to the line for the one and one opportunity. Misses. Got a rebound on Chris by Chris McNeil, but they call the pushing off foul. As the Wildcat player tried to get position as well, McNeil pushed off. We should be in the one and one situation with Robert Eccles at the free throw line. Eccles misses the free throw, pulls his own rebound, has it blocked. Nice block by McNeil. And they throw the ball away, but Neil, McNeil comes up with the loose ball. Can't put the short jumper in. Eccles with the rebound. Finds Roberts. Roberts will set it up for the Wildcats with two minutes left in the half. The Wildcats are down by four. Eccles to Roberts. Roberts to Benton. Back to Roberts. Left side to Green. The spread offense still in effect for the Wildcats. Eccles shoots the jumper from about 15, misses. Rebound, Horace Jones can't put the shot back in off the glass. Rebound, McNeil, and Porter brings it back. Stolen from behind by Robert Eccles. He waits on LeRae Roberts to set up the offense for the Wildcats. Green spots for the three, brings it back out to Baggett. Baggett loses control. Gets it back to Roberts. Roberts spots for the three. Off the top of, off the back of the rim and it hits the brace on the backboard and that is black attack ball. Porter will now set up the offense. Goes to David Mitchell. Mitchell drives into the lane. Draws contact, but no call, and he is able to sink the basket for his eighth point, and the score is 25 to 19. Just under a minute left here in the first half of this 16 and under division championship game. This is the Eddie Lee Wilkins Future Stars Basketball Tournament. Into Quinto Iquazuma. Uses his quickness to get the ball up in and off the glass. That's his 10th point here in the first half, 25 to 21. And the Wildcats are keeping things interesting here in the first half. Tyson Pena shoots from about 12, about 16 rather, and drills it over the Wildcat defender for his eighth point. 27 to 21, six point lead with 10 seconds left. Wildcats will have to take it to the basket. Iquazuma does so and is thrown out of there by Tyson Pena. The shot by number 22 at the buzzer. Matt Bailey and we got a foul call on the Wildcats and before we take the halftime break Matt Bailey will get three free throws Robert Eccles will be tagged with the foul so Bailey has the opportunity to push his team's lead up even more with the clock already expired. He sinks the first one. The second one is also true. Bailey is able to connect on all three and just like that, it's 30 to 21 and the Black Attack will take a nine point lead into the halftime here of this championship game. We'll take a short break and get a word from our sponsors here on Prestige Cablevision Channel 4 Sports and be back with second half action. What's new this month on Prestige Vision 4? So if you're looking for something good to watch, watch Prestige Vision 4, your local cable channel. Once again, welcome back to Aubrey Street Gymnasium here in Cartersville, Georgia. 
This is Prestige Cablevision Channel 4 Sports. I'm David Archer bringing you the championship game of the Eddie Lee Wilkins Future Stars Summer Basketball League Tournament. This is the 16 and under division and currently at the half the Black Attack is holding a nine point lead over the Wildcats who is sponsored by Doug's Place Restaurant. Your halftime scoring leaders are for the Black Attack, Tyson Pena with eight points. Also David Mitchell with eight. Matt Bailey has five. Followed by Josh Rooks with three points. Jeremy Adams, Bo Turrell, and Jeff Porter each have two. For the Wildcats, for the Wildcats we have Quinto Iquazuma with ten, Brenton Baggett with eight, and LeRae Roberts with three. The Wildcats had kept the game remotely close most of the first half, down by only three, four, or five points, but uh, ill-advised foul there at the very end of the first half allowed Matt Bailey to go to the free throw line with no time on the clock. He sank three consecutive free throws and pushed the lead out to nine. The Wildcats will start the second half with the ball. LeRae Roberts sets up the offense. He goes to McClendon. McClendon back to Roberts. They're still in that spread offensive mode trying to bring the black attack out. McClendon with the three. Leaves it a little short. And trying to race for the loose ball was Quinto Iquazuma, but he could not get there in time. And the black attack will take over possession. Porter against a three-quarter press to Pena. And David Mitchell travels with the basketball. And the Wildcats were able to force that turnover. That's what they're looking for with that press. And they get the ball back with a chance to cut into the lead. They're down by nine, 30 to 21. 45 seconds have elapsed here in the third quarter. Bag it into Iquazuma. He goes up, blocked by Pena. And he's tipped over to Mitchell. Mitchell to Porter. And he'll set it up for the black attack. Shot from the baseline off the side of the backboard. That was Jeremy Adams who attempted the eight-footer. And it goes back to the Wildcats. Once again, they have a chance to trim that lead down. McClendon drives, puts it up from the free throw line, can't get the roll. And as Mitchell tried to get the rebound, McClendon knocked it off of himself and out of bounds. It goes back to the black attack. Pressure D by the Wildcats. Nifty pass. Pena down to McNeil. McNeil puts it up and in. First two of the, of the day for McNeil. And it's an 11 point lead for the black attack. Quinto Iquazuma shoots the three. His foot was on the line, they'll give him two, but that's 12 points for Iquazuma. Trims it back down to nine. Mitchell with the short jumper from about 12. 10 points now for Mitchell. He leads the way for the black attack. McClendon brings the ball down, sets it up to LeRae Roberts. The spread offense for the Wildcats. Iquazuma looking inside, now goes to McClendon. McClendon shoots it high over the outstretched arms of Pena. They get the offensive rebound and bag it. Tries to get the shot to go in. Coming back the other way is Jeremy Adams. He'll pull it up and dunk, tries to dump it down inside to Pena. He was not quite ready for the pass, though he was wide open. Cedric Green will come in for the Wildcats. And Tamar McClendon will sit down. LeRae Roberts will bring it down for the Wildcats. Iquazuma back to Roberts to Baggett. Baggett spots for the three. A little bit off. Rebound Mitchell out to Porter. Pressure by the Wildcats. Skip pass over to Jeremy Adams. Man-to-man -man defense by the Wildcats. Inside to McNeil. Spin around jumper from about 12. 
Nice shot by McNeil. 36 to 23. And the Wildcats will take a timeout as they have fallen down by 13 with 429 remaining in the third quarter. I'd like to take this time to thank some of our bronze and patron level sponsors this summer for the Eddie Lee Wilkins Foundation. They will be as follows. Boyd Pettit, John Lewis, and John Lewis Property Management, Dragon Garden Restaurant, Ace Hardware in Adairsville, Kim Burns Heating and AC in Adairsville, Robert and Susan Painter from Adairsville, Jan Carroll, Yolanda Scott, Amy Phillips, Dawn Blum, Marjorie Calloway, Coach Matthew Hill, Amy Stewart, B. Baker, Jan Davis, Christy Rutland, Alan Jawan, Jackie Martin, Jerry Gilbert, Mr. and Mrs. Bob Adams, Iris Wilson, Leo Gamble, who was a JTPA worker for us, Susan Stoddard, who will be the head basketball coach at Woodlands for the girls' team next year. She came in and uh, spoke to the kids for us this summer. Bo and Brenda Johnson, Christy James, JTPA worker, Marvin Richards, Michael McCorkle, Lamar Hudson, Hara Shaw, Johnny Massey, Erwin Jones, JTPA worker, Rico Cooley, Brett Ward, Art Hinton, and Todd Wofford. Back to the action with 420 left. Horace Jones goes up inside for the Wildcats, Wildcats and can't get the layup to drop in. Pressure by the Wildcat defense. It's broken by the Black Attack. Black Attack in the lead by 13. Inside to McNeil. And we got a traveling call on Chris McNeil. And the Wildcats will get the ball back. LeRae Roberts with the three, wide to the right. Iquazuma goes high for the rebound, can't put it back up with his left hand. Pena, outlet pass, down to Mitchell. Loses control, and Roberts comes up with it, and he loses control. Now Green comes up with it for the Wildcats. He drives left, puts the layup up, and Pena blocks it again. It's about four blocks now for Tyson Pena, our 1997 16 and under division League MVP has played very well today. He has eight points, a whole host of rebounds, and about four block shots. The shot is missed by McNeil, rebound by Horace Jones, and he sets it up to Cedric Green. Green drives left, dumps it down to Iquazuma. He drives baseline, goes up against Pena, blocked again. Pena is ruling the inside. The outlet pass down to Porter. He's wide open for the easy layup. And it's 38 to 23, and the Wildcats are falling down, falling behind even more. They're now down by 15. Iquazuma skip past to Benton, fakes the three, drives, blocked again by Pena. Jones with the rebound, puts it up, misses, shoots it a little bit hard, rebound Mitchell. And Porter will set up for the black attack. And we've got another timeout on the floor. This time the black attack will call it. As Jeff Porter looks like he might have an injury. And we'll keep it here and we'll take this time to thank our silver level sponsors for 1997. These sponsors were the people who gave at least $200 or more to the Eddie Lou Wilkins Foundation. David G. Archer, attorney at law. Mundane Car Audio, Wachovia Bank, APPS Temp Service in Cleveland, Tennessee, Corwin Tilly and Deems Attorney's Office, Mary Kay Cosmetics, Harmon Auto Glass, in Rome, Cicely Wilson's Hair Salon here in Cartersville, Royal Prestige and Duval McCleskey from Marietta, Georgia, Starcrest of Cartersville, Protect Printing in Marietta, Crest Auto, Dorset Industries in Dalton, Georgia, Pugs Rugs here in Cartersville, Show Dog Entertainment in Derwin Jones, and Action Rental, which is also here in Cartersville. Those were our silver level sponsors for the Eddie Lee Wilkins Foundation for 1997. Out from the timeout, the Black Attack control the ball. 2-12 left in the quarter. They're comfortably ahead. 
38 to 23. Rebound by Pena off the three point miss. And he spins around for the five footer. 10 points on the evening for Pena. McClendon back the other way. Can't sink the eight footer. Pena with the rebound. Josh Rooks sets it up to Jeremy Adams. Down inside to Pena. Another fadeaway jumper. 12 points now for Pena. 42 to 23 is the score. Black attack ahead by 19. McClendon to Baggett. Skip pass over to Quinto Iquizuma inside to Green. Throws the ball up off the backboard. Misses, get, finally comes up with his own loose ball. And he double dribbles. The Wildcats have had a hard time getting the shots off on the inside against a much, much taller black attack team and Tyson Pena who has about six or seven blocks on the day. 59 seconds left in the quarter. Dump it down into Pena. Misses this one. And we got an over the back foul on Robert Eccles. Earlier in the day, the Skyline Business Service 76ers led by Lee Miles and Timmy Dudley were able to take the 71 to 53 victory over the Credit Cars Pacers in the 14 and under East Division Championship game. Lee Miles and Timmy Dudley were named all league selection and also Miles took home the league MVP and also the tournament MVP for that East Division of the 14 and under. Also, the Cartersville Housing Authority Blue Devils were able to knock off the Chuck Clancy Fort Hoyas in the West Division of the 14 and under to take home first place as number 42, Josh Rooks, scores his fourth and fifth point of the evening. And the Black Attack are now ahead by 21, 44 to 23. McClendon drives, puts it up on the inside and sinks it. First two points for McClendon. And as the quarter ends, the Wildcats will talk things over and try to come out and, and make things a little more interesting as they're down by 19, 44 to 25 against the number two seed, Cherokee County Black Attack. During the quarter change, we'll take time and, and thank some more of our sponsors. This time, we'll thank the Gold Level sponsors for 1997. They are as follows, Bartow County Bank, Sportsman Supply, First Community Bank, Print Street Technology, Solar Shades, People's First National Bank, Let's Roll Bike Shop, Prestige Vision Cable Channel 4, Columbia Redmond, Out of Rome, Phoenix Fashions in Cartersville, the Cartersville Housing Authority, who has been a very big help this summer with both security and with um, a lot of different things helping out with the kids. We want to thank Johnny Massey and Hara Shaw, Lever Brothers, Carolina Builders and Marietta, Shaw Industries Incorporated, Skyline Business Services, Credit Cars here in Cartersville, Due Process Service, the Bartow County Government and the Commissioner's Office, G&W Motors in Rome, Floyd Medical Center, Eddie Lee Wilkins himself, Owen Leasing and Funeral and Funeral Home, New Frontiers Organization, Walmart, Serve Pro of Rome, Franklin Ford, Tractor in Cartersville, Chuck Clancy Ford, the City of Cartersville, Doug's Place Restaurant, WBHF and Channel 4, and Reynolds Pallets in Calhoun. And to start the fourth quarter, the Black Attack take control. 7.45 on the clock. They're comfortably ahead by 19, 44 to 25. Porter throws the ball away, and the Wildcats not totally out of the game at this point, but their spirits seem to be low as they've fallen down, and they haven't gotten the shot opportunities they would like. 
that time Britton Baggett had his shot blocked by David Mitchell, but Robert Eccles was there to follow with his first two points of the night. 44-27, stolen by Eccles. Eccles will drive, put it up from about eight, missing Mitchell with the rebound. Matt Bailey will bring it across half court for the, wild, for the uh, black attack. Dump it down inside to Bo Turrell. And with the turnover, the Wildcats will have another shot at cutting into the lead. If, if the Wildcats can pick up the defense, force some turnovers, and then create fast break opportunities, they have an opportunity to cut into the lead, which is now at 17. Baggett misses the three. Quinto Iquizuma battles for the rebound, but it's knocked out by the black attack. Into Eccles, to McClendon. Drives, puts it up from about seven. Off the back of the rim, Baggett and Pena struggle for the ball. They get it out, and now down to Adams. Adams, nice pass to Mitchell. He drew the defenders over to his side and dumped it over to Mitchell on the other side of the goal. 46-27. LeRae Roberts with the dipsy do shot and his own follow. Pena made him change his shot, but he overran the defensive effort, and LeRae Roberts was there to follow his own shot with the tip in, 46 to 29. Porter to Mitchell. Mitchell shoots the three. A little bit off, rebound McNeil, or Bo Turrell, rather. Number 34, he puts it up and in. No rebounding, rebounding on the back side for the Wildcats, and Turrell now has four points. LeRae Roberts to McClendon. McClendon drives, shoots it high and is able to nail it, this time over the outreached hands of Tyson Pena, who's been a thorn in the side of the Wildcats all afternoon. Four points now from McClendon. The drive and the block. Nice defensive effort by Robert Eccles, and McClendon will bring it back quickly the other way, and Quinto Ikuzuma is there for the pass, and his 14th point, and the score is now 48 to 33. Another steal. Iquazuma drives, tries to lay it off the glass, and we got a foul on number 30, Jeff Porter. So Quinto Iquazuma, who is two for three on the day from the free throw line, will have a chance to cut this lead down to possibly 13. The Wildcats for the last 437 will, will have to try to utilize their speed. Quinto misses the front end of the two. His second free throw attempt is up off the back of the rim. They battle for the rebound and it goes out on the black attack. Still yet another chance for the Wildcats. Into Horace Jones. He works it out to Roberts. Roberts fakes and is called for the walking as he took the big first step. 4.17 on the clock. The Wildcats have stepped up their defensive efforts but have not gotten much out of it. They have cut it down to 15 but they've missed a couple opportunities here in the last 30 seconds. Another traveling call, this time on Chris McNeil of the Black Attack. And the Wildcats will bring the troops down. McClendon, top of the key, over to Roberts. Fakes, drives, tries to, tries to get it up with his left hand. He's a little bit out of control, but on the jump ball, the ball will go back to the Wildcats. Roberts, down the bag, back to Roberts, shoots the three. A little bit long, rebound, Quinto Iquizuma, out to McClendon. McClendon spins into the lane, shoots a little bit wide to the left, rebound by Chris McNeil. Porter works against McClendon. McClendon 
Almost steals it, but Porter's able to get it away. Now it's over to Mitchell on the left wing. Back to Porter, top of the key, working against LeRae Roberts. Back to Mitchell. Nice pass underneath, and Jeremy Adams was there to lay it up and in left-handed, 50 to 33, and that pretty much thwarts the comeback attempt. But Brenton Baggett comes back the other way and hits the three. 11 points now for Brenton Baggett. Three threes on the day. Porter has it stripped by Roberts. Roberts comes back, dumps it off to Baggett. Baggett with the double pump, can't get the ball to drop in, but Jeff Porter was called for the foul. The clock will stop, and once again, the Wildcats have a chance to cut it to 13. Baggett and Quinto Iquizuma are the two highlights on the offensive end for the Wildcats today. Baggett has 11 and Quinto Iquizuma has 14. He misses his first free throw. The second one's high off the back of the rim. Rebound Bo Turrell. The pass out to Josh Rooks. Rooks looking for somebody to pass to. Gets it into Pena. And we got a traveling call just before he releases the pass. McClendon into Roberts. 50 to 35 is your score. 215 left in the ball game. Bag it to Roberts. Roberts spots for the three. A little bit short. Pena scrambling for the rebound. It's Pena McNeil. McNeil finally comes up with it for the black attack. Find, tries to find somebody to pass it to. Gets it to Rooks. Rooks missed dribbles. And almost called for the traveling, but the nifty pass down to Bo Turrell, who was not ready for it. Nice flip pass by Jeremy Adams, but Turrell was not ready. And the Wildcats have had their opportunities to get back in the ball game. They're still down by 15 with under two minutes. It's going to be tough, but they can make it interesting. Baggett with the three. All net. 4-3 for Baggett. It's 14 points on the day. 50 to 38. Almost stolen again by the Wildcats. They've cut it down to 12. They've picked up the defense, but they might have waited a little bit too late. They're forcing the turnovers, and the Black Attack is having trouble handling the full court pressure of the Wildcats, but 12 points is a long way to come down from, come back from. We have a stoppage in action as something rolled onto the court. Referee gets it under control with 127 left. Black attack still in the lead by a dozen, 50 to 38. Pass into Adams. Now down into Pena. Good give and go. Adams can't handle it and he travels. They dumped it down to the block to Tyson Pena and Adams sunk down the middle but could not handle the pass from Tyson Pena. LeRae Roberts to Baggett. Baggett shoots the three. Off the backboard, and Pena goes high, gets it down to Adams. Adams races the link. He's fouled by LeRae Roberts. That stops the clock, and Adams will go to the free throw line. One oh nine remaining in this 16 and under championship game of the Eddie Lee Wilkins Future Stars Summer League. These teams have fought all year for this opportunity and it's come down between the Black Attack and the Wildcats. Tyson Pena with the rebound and the spin around jumper. Pena now with 14 points. He leads the way for the Black Attack. Under a minute left, 52 to 38. Iquazuma drives. Puts it up and in. And Iquazuma is able to cut the lead down to 11 with his 16th point on that drive. 50 seconds left in the game. Might be a little bit too late, but if they can create some fouls, 
put them on the line and 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 hopefully black attack coming up with some misses will allow the wildcats to come up with some offensive opportunities but the black attack are ahead by 11 they've been in the lead the entire game it was close in the first half just before matt bailey was able to spread the lead out to nine at at the uh, right at the break with three free throws and the Wildcats have been forced to battle from behind ever since. The black attack almost surely in surely in their huddle is talking about protecting the basketball and using as much time as possible and the idea is not to create any opportunities for the Wildcats to score with the clock stopped. To do that, you do not foul. The Wildcats on the other end need to foul quickly as the, the Black Attack's not even in the bonus right now, but they'll have to foul several times as they do so as soon as the ball comes in. And LeRae Roberts is tagged with the foul. Still not in the bonus. They'll want to foul as many times as possible to put them on the line and make that clock stop. The pass over to Mitchell. Up to the top to Porter, back to Mitchell. They'll hold the ball and use the clock. Chris McNeil looking for Pena and the foul on Quinto Iquizuma. 15 seconds ran off the clock before the Wildcats were able to stop the clock. Into Mitchell. Mitchell, the foul on Brenton Baggett. Still not enough. Now we'll be in the bonus this time. And David Mitchell, who has 12 points so far on the afternoon, will be at the free throw line with the opportunity to essentially ice the ball game with 31 seconds left on the clock. The first one is missed. Pena comes up with the big rebound. And on the putback, even though it doesn't drop, he draws the foul on the Quinto Iquizuma. Pena leading his team with 14 points. First free throw is up off the back of the rim. <laughs> 29 seconds remaining on the ticker. Second free throw is up and it's good. 15 for Pena. McClendon races back the other way. Baggett spots for the three. And it's a little bit long. Rebound McNeil. Out to Adams. Adams smartly brings the ball back out, flips it over to Porter. Porter to Mitchell, back to Adams. Now to Pena. Pena loses control. Horace Jones with the loose ball. Iquazuma comes back. Eight seconds on the clock. Pulls up for the three. Misses it wide to the left. Mitchell will pull the rebound. And Adams will hold the ball as time expires. The black attack will take the championship of the 16 and under. The Black Attack will take the championship of the 16 and under Eddie Lee Wilkins Future Stars Basketball League. Leading the way for the Black Attack will be was Tyson Pena with 15 points, Jeremy Adams with with four, Chris McNeil finished the game with four, David Mitchell scored 12, Josh Rooks had five, Bo Turrell had four. Jeff Porter had two, and Matt Bailey had five to lead the way for your championship team, the Cherokee County Black Attack. Leading the way for Doug's Place Restaurant Wildcats was Quinto Iquizuma, who led all scorers with 16. Brenton Baggett had 14. LeRae Roberts had five. Tamar McClendon had four, and Robert Eccles had two. We want to thank you for joining joining us for the 1997 16 and under championship game of the Eddie Lee Wilkins Future Stars Basketball Tournament. Please stay tuned for other games throughout the summer. And we'll be signing off. I'm David Archer for Prestige Cablevision Channel 4 Sports. So long.